Good morning. Welcome to the first video of me maybe growing out my beard. Possibly. I'm not sure if I want to. Compose a comment if you think I should do it. In today's video, we will be transcribing one of the greatest works known to man. The Mr. Krabs walking sound effect from SpongeBob SquarePants. Move it! Could you be any slower? So this sound effect that you're hearing uses the instrument Temple Blocks, which is basically just a set of pitched wood blocks. Just like that. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. We got the uh, walking sound effect added in. Yeah, this is like a temple block blast beat, basically. Just a ram of like 30 second notes, extremely fast. So clearly it repeats over and over. It's like like that. It's pretty accurate, all right? So why don't we, let's see, let's chop it off right there. Let's slow this down to a nice percentage and let's find where it repeats itself. I think it's that note right there. I think that's right. Maybe one more note. No, okay, I think it's this one. So if we cut all this, so let's see how many notes we have in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think that's one note. <laughs> twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, we got twenty-four notes. It looks like the rhythm isn't completely consistent. Like you can see, there's like kind of a bigger gap from this note to this note than from this note to that note. But I think it just goes by so fast that you can't even tell that that's happening. So I'm just gonna assume that it's all one rhythm, all 16th notes at a very fast tempo. Okay, now we just gotta find out uh, what pitches are in this and also how many pitches. I have five temple blocks. I don't think there's that many pitches. I think that might be only two pitches. To get 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 yeah, I don't know what's up with this. That sounds like the end of it. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes these uh, audio spikes, it gets a little tricky trying to figure out what the heck's happening. Maybe some of the spikes are like uh, an echo from the previous attack. I don't really know. It's a lot of science and math and stuff, but I think using your ear to figure it out is the best way to do it. So there's actually only 12, 13, 14, there's 15, 16th notes in the measure. So all right, let's change this. Yeah. All right. It's this repeated forever. Okay, so there it is. Some very complicated stuff there. Uh, next thing we're gonna do uh, before I actually try to play this is I'm gonna figure out what the tempo is. So here I have my free little uh, metronome app. Uh, I'm just gonna screw around until I figure out what the heck's happening. Okay, it's either 67 or 68. Oh, it's so close to being nice. So close. So this is 67.5-ish, something like that. Actually, wait, it's not quarter note. It's 15 16th notes equals this tempo. I don't know how to write that out. That's kind of confusing and weird. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That looks really stupid and confusing. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I think that's probably the best way to write that. Um, or I could do this number times 15, and that would be the 16th note. Okay, 16th note equals 1,012.5. I think that's the best and greatest way to write that. It makes the most sense to look at. I don't think my metronome even goes that fast. Now, the fastest it does is 400, which is not even half as fast as it should go, unless I put the eighth note on. Now it's 800. Then we get the sixteenths, then that's too fast. I'm just kidding. I think the one bar equals 67.5 is the best way to write it. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to figure out what the pitches are uh, between these two blocks, like what the interval is, because the temple blocks, they do have like their own pitch range. notes are an octave apart, which is a further distance than these temple blocks are. Those are the same notes as... Sorta. Of, kinda. It's like sorta of out of tune because they're old, but it's basically like the first five notes of a major scale. Actually, wait a minute. Hold on, I got an idea. Yeah, I have these like little LP jam blocks. They might work a little better. Okay, these are actually all higher pitched than those. 
It's about an E, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an E. I don't, my relative pitch is not the best, but uh. Yeah, minor third. Another minor third. Okay, I think I'm figuring this out. All right, these are like all kind of out of tune. Um, I think number four block is also an E. Close enough, I guess. Uh, so these are about an octave. This one to this one. Yay, we can do it as close as we possibly can in real life. I'm so excited. Look how excited I am. at tempo let me uh get the metronome going to make sure i'm playing it correctly okay we're at 50 beats per minute it's uh quite a bit under tempo <laughs> this might be the hardest thing i've ever played in my life i'm not sure yet That's easier for me doing sweeps. Probably because I play tenors a lot. I'm gonna do it that way, so. All right, it's close enough. I think I think I got it. And last thing we're gonna do is test some different implements. So we got the yarn mallets, we got the rubber mallets, we got the plastic mallets, and we got the good old drumsticks. Let's see which one sounds most like the original sound effect. Well, it seems like that last option was the closest to the original, the drumsticks. Now, it's not 100% perfect to what the sound effect is, but I do think it is definitely close enough that you can tell what you are trying to do. So here is the sheet music. I encourage all drummers to grab two wood blocks and learn how to play this, so then you can commence trolling every single person that walks by you ever. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it somewhat educational. If you did, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider donating over there. It greatly helps me run my channel now that this is what I'm doing for a full-time job, so thank you so much. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt, such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning. <laughs>